like uh, my next guest is the star of a brand new show called Providence that premieres tomorrow night right here on NBC. Please welcome Melina Kanakaridis. <laughs> I have spent most of the day today, and uh, the rest of the show has suffered trying to get your last name. And you have said it amazingly. It's Kanakaridis. You are awesome, yes. Well, in many ways. <laughs> that too. No. Um, is that a tough name to grow up with? Did people give you a hard time? No, not at all. Yes, it was horrifying. Um, I think at the very beginning, kindergarten was really tough because you had to fill it. You know, that's all you knew how to do was write your name. Right. So I'd be going K A, and everybody else would be C Sam sit Sam sit sit sits. You know, and you're still. So people like you had to stay back a few grades because no, <laughs> you were still, still spelling your name. It. I still made it, but uh... it's a uh, it's Greek name. Yes. Just guessing here. Yes. Guess what? Mine's Irish. No. <laughs> <laughs> So stop writing in. I finally gave the answer. It's been a big, on the internet, they're just a buzz trying to figure it out. Uh, Greek families are, are notorious for being, you know, very close, very emotional. Uh, is your family like that? Are they very mothering, protective of you? Very, very, very much. I mean, it's you know, three girls in the family. I'm the youngest of three. Dad was really overprotective. <laughs> and, uh -huh. and now, since I'm married, so. Um, but, and he's, now, yeah. oh, God, horrible, because one cute guy in the class would call you, and if they didn't properly introduce themselves and say, hello, Mr. Kanakaridis, my name is, it was like, wrong number, there's no Melina here. And, and, you know, and what guy like, that age could pronounce your name? No that one. Point? That yeah. was the point. And I'd be like, Daddy. Yeah. Did, uh, w w would they visit you a lot when you moved away and stuff like that? Were they like, oh, we're always going to visit you? Even Constantly, though you yeah. New York City. I live here. And, um, and, you know, the big, big city, big bed city, there's no food in that city. There's no nothing because, you know, you're used to home and we're candy making business. And my mom would pack everything in garbage bags. It's the easiest way. She just shoves everything in, puts it on the back porch. Harry, put them all in the thing. And he doesn't know which one's which. He's grabbing all the bags, shoving them in the So they would bring wagon. you, like, clothes and food and stuff in a garbage bag? They would bring everything, but they, the garbage bags would go around the, like, boxes and stuff. Right, full right. of stuff. Oh, I thought they and just, like, put mashed potatoes into a garbage <laughs> bag and threw it at you as they drove by. Well, it wouldn't always be mashed potatoes would be something like domadakia or something green. What was that? Leaves. What happened? What was what? Well, they, they... <laughs> did anyone else say, Andy, did you catch it? What, what did you just say? Dolmadakia. Those are... Uh, but you great... said it like so quick. Say it again. Dolmadakia. Oh, you just slowed it down. Yeah. The first time you went... Dolmadakia. Yes. Okay. They're like grape leaves. But anyway, no, my, um, we moved into a new place. I just got married. My parents were bringing stuff and they get there and my husband's like, oh my God, they brought bags again. Lots of bags. I'm like, just go get them. And he gets them and one smells really bad. And he looks at me and he's like, <laughs> they had brought trash seven hours. My father's like, ah. he's like, I didn't know. She told me to take the bags. I took all the bags. I'm like, you I didn't liked... smell it? What a sinister <laughs> sign from your family. We wanted you to have this. Trash. Because <laughs> that is what you have married. Uh, if I were your husband, I'd be scared. Like, this is some kind of sign that I've screwed up in some way. No, no. See, he's Greek, too, so he kind of understands this whole, like, overly affectionate thing. I love, too, how it is so true that, my, you know, my parents live up uh, outside Boston, and whenever I'm leaving to come back here to New York, and it's New York City, right. you know, it's, it's got more restaurants, more food on, on an island than any place else in the world, and my mother's always wrapping up something that they won't eat, you right. know? <laughs> it's true. You know, but it's like, you better take this with you so you can have some food in New York. Yeah. Because how else are you going to have food? It's true. So now I don't talk to her anymore. <laughs> That showed her. <laughs> they must be really uh, proud of you. You've had the success. You're, you're on this new show, and you've yeah. done a lot of work with NYPD Blue. Yes, I worked on NYPD Blue. First, that was my first job in L.A., actually. I was doing that bi-coastal thing. Were you, were you nervous about the, the nudity on that show? I know that that's what people talk about, but that show is known for yeah. having a lot of nude scenes. Yeah, I was nervous, and but you know you do wear something. They're like little two-inch pieces of cloth, and you feel really good about those two inches. I mean, you're like thank two God inches, for those. really? Well, no, I'm just kidding, but you know what I mean. They're like tiny little. I wasn't pieces. kidding. <laughs> <laughs> well, you would need far more than that, I'm sure.
I'm sure. I was thinking, that about does it. No. Um, but no, my grandmother was the one who hated him the most because she was just like, I. She, would she think you were really nude in those scenes? Yeah, I don't like those. She'd say, I don't like those shit scenes. And I'd say, what? Yeah. And she goes, I don't like those shit scenes. And I'd say, what are you talking about? And she's like, shit, S H E E D. And I'm like, oh, you know, it's just, it was like, I was like, what is You she just mean? saved yourself a, a bleep on the show. I know, show. I'm sorry. She would be That's... like, yes, you pick the shit up, you put like this, I don't like it. So from then on, it became the joke with my friends and I that we would look at scripts for films or scripts and go, how many shit scenes are in these things? You know, it's like... <laughs> but she's happy now. She'll like this new show. Yeah, and she knows it's all pretend, so it's okay. Oh, you explained that to it's her. It's pretend, you know, yeah. There's Tell her this people. was pretend, too. I will. I that will. guy doesn't exist, Mom. <laughs> <laughs> He's a puppet. <laughs> Providence premieres tomorrow night at 8 o'clock on NBC. Best of luck with that. Thank and you. And come back and uh, visit us again. Really nice having you on the I show. Absolutely well, thank Melina you. Melina Kanakaridis, huh? Yes. Okay, we'll take a little break. When we come back, Todd Barry will be here. We'll see you.